Hello, it's Ricardo, and I'm Thargoid Base Hunting. You find me now in the HIP 14909 system. And in particular, I'm at Planet 2A, as you can see in the picture in picture as well. The coordinates I'm at are minus 26 and then minus 27. And you'll be able to spot that base a mile off. And there it is on the screen right now. Visibility on the base and on the planet at this time of day is fantastic. I've seen a lot of videos where it's all dark and gloomy, but at least now you can see exactly without any filters being applied to this video, what you're up against. And it is quite amazing. Now I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you that if you enjoy the videos to click the subscribe button and give me a like that way then I can always continue to make more content that appeals to you. The structure of the base, again, it's, it reminds me of H.R. Geiger and the alien ship from the second movie, first and second movies really, you know, when you, you, you see it more in depth of the alien films. I mean, the asp now gliding over the surface towards some of the structures it's apparent there was a bit of activity going on um, that looked like welding, so to speak. And there's what we called scavengers or repair robots, but they're called scavengers. Seem to be touching up parts of this structure. Now, whether it's a ship, whether it's a base, who knows? But those little critters, we're going to call them, they are absolutely everywhere absolutely everywhere going about their tasks repairing mining collecting whatever it is they're doing it actually does look like they're using some sort of material to patch up the structure so maintenance drones that's all i can surmise from that and again leading on from what i was saying about the reference towards the alien movies i mean look at those spikes the coral like tentacle spikes coming out of the ground definitely a reference definitely an influence as well um, to those films and even Prometheus so I put some picture and pictures in as well as some of the other areas as I fly around and quite a huge sight the ship looks minuscule compared to the size of this structure and of course I'm calling it a structure don't know really what it is is it a base could be you can't damage it you can't damage those drones from the ship however you are able to damage to damage those drones from your SRV certain aspects of this structure are still covered under the ground as well though there's a sort of mother of pearl like effect to the hull or to the building material of the structure. And you can also see there are those organic material structures that we've seen at the barnacle sites as well. So I'm going to try shooting those later, but I'm assuming I'm going to get some materials from those. So moving on now, let's go and take a look at some of the other structures, and in particular the, the central structure. Now there's not only one door, there's a few doors. But this is very reminiscent of the original Thargoid ship that we've seen, obviously on a bigger scale. Very sort of templar in the middle, I think. So again, there's more organic structures sprouting out through the ground and these scavengers tending back and forth to them and going about their tasks. Also a few geezer pockets as well, uh, spouting some sort of like um, fume or plume that will shoot your SRV into the sky. Not too far though, but enough to give you a little bit of air. 
and as you pull back away from the central structure, you get an idea of the scale of that with the ass park next to it. And all quite good. I'm going to have to go and check out some of the other bases as well to see if they look more atmospheric and a bit more eerie. I think this one's a bit too bright. It needs some clouds. It needs a bit of mist wafting around. But there you go. I've, I've brutally attacked one of those organic structures. And there I am, driving over one of those geezer points. So the organic structures, they are giving me rare materials or stuff like germanium, manganese, but attacking the scavengers as well will provoke them. You shoot them, they're going to get all riled up and get nasty. However, it's a few things that I've noticed. They're quite easy to destroy. Brilliant. Yes, okay, it's only a drone. But they do drop certain items. Now you've got unknown fragments. Great. But here is what looks like you know, a man-made canister. Again, another unknown fragment. The man-made canisters, however, have got writing on them. Mod terminal, or mod, a mod item. Which seems to think that, you know, there's a cross-pollinization, perhaps, of technology. Or they've just ripped the technology off some down ship that I've picked up. So unknown energy cells, unknown fragments, unknown ship signatures. Go on the side of that tree, we're going to have that. Ooh, we're going to have that as well. That's going to be meta alloys, that is. We'll have some of that indeed. If anything, just try and offset some of the costs of the trip getting out here. I dare say, when I come back into the game and respawn, these trees will be back. So pretty good for the environment so the skimmers can be destroyed the trees can be destroyed you can't do any damage to the base as far as I've seen which is good for the base not very good for us and again look at that lovely sort of I suppose mother of pearl sort of effect on the green of that structure very nice again just picking up some of the rest of the organic structures as I've driven around uh, the circumference at the center of the base. Seems to have taken off a lot of the skimmers, but there's a group of three over there as well, so let's see what they can give me in the form of materials. Yes, I know, it's a bit blase. Let's just shoot them. I could be causing an intergalactic incident. Who cares? So let's go into the turret mode now and let them have it. There he is. He's coming right at us. Okay. So let's see what they've dropped. So we've got an unknown data wake. I'll be having that. New data discovered. Great. Seems to have gone over one of the, the carcasses of that scavenger. This is what I mean about the, the canister that's dropped by the scavenger. Definitely looks like it's it's human of origin. Or from our part of the elite universe anyway. So I'm going to head on back to the ship. Temporarily. Uh, and drop some of this swag off before I then transfer the unknown probe, an unknown artifact, into the SRV. Now, there's a few little things I want to pick up first. Getting a bit of air on that geezer point. But really, I think the outside of the base, that's pretty much it. I think it would be more mysterious, again, like if it was more lit atmospherically but that's I think more down to this particular planet's conditions I don't think I'll bother any more skimmers 
and shoot those. Apparently there are loads more inside the structure. But I'm not sure I want to start shooting those just yet. So driving around in the SRV on the ridges and the outskirts of the main part of the base, you do get a good sense of scale for it. You know, it is huge. I think flying around in the ship, you think, ah, oh, yeah, you know, it's big. But in the SRV, it really is quite a size. So here I am finally at the ship, gonna drop off that swag, those meta alloys, take stock of what data I've picked up, if I've got any space in my data bank, and how many materials I've got. I'm pretty okay, I'm, I'm sure I've got some stuff on uh, to repair the SRV, so that's okay. So here I am now heading into the alien structure, and therefore that ends this period of the video. I've been Ricardo and this has been a quick look around the alien base on HIP 14909. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe. Check out for more videos in the series.